So the first thing to get a handle on is to understand that I'm going to be using lots of different letters. So I could be using uh, X's, that's the one that you're probably most thinking of when you think about algebra. Uh, notice how I write the X as well. Um, it is essentially two C's back to back, like so. Um, it's in order so that you don't get it confused with this. This is a times symbol. So although you might be thinking, oh, well, that's an X, isn't it? Um, but you must make sure that when you're writing x's down, you use this form, OK? Now, that's really the only letter that you might be going, well, that looks a bit weird, um, because here's y, for example, OK? That's just going to look like a regular y. Uh, so I could use x's, I could use y's, I could use a's, b's, c's, um, d's, e's, f's, g's, h's, etc. There are some letters that um, we don't generally use, uh, or we try to avoid using, I should say, um, when we're working generally with algebra. Uh, that's because that they mean, they have another meaning, um, usually. So an example of this is uh, E. So you probably won't see a lot of E being used. Um, e is a, uh, a number in mathematics. Um, so uh, sometimes referred to as Euler's number. Um, so you don't usually see E being used because uh, that can uh, lead to confusion. Um, you generally won't see I being used. Um, because that is what's used in uh, complex numbers. So um, you'll probably be looking at some numbers, go, uh, some algebra going, well, why, why don't I see these letters very often? And it's generally for those reasons, because they're being used in other branches of mathematics. We don't want to get them confused. So a lot of the time you'll see X's, Y's, A, B, C, uh, P, Q, R, for example. Um, so there are a number of letters that are used that you'll see, OK? Um, just to kind of like get an idea of uh, what types of problems you'll see. But if I, if I have something in terms of X or I have something in terms of A, there's no kind of um, specific meaning attributed to why I'm using X or why I'm using A. Um, it's all really down to context. Um, when we get onto to uh, equations of lines and graphs and things like that, you'll see me use x rather than a because we understand there is an x-axis and a y-axis. OK? Um, so different letters get used in different contexts. Um, but I think the key thing to take away from this video is really that the way that you write your x you want to write it this way rather than that way, okay?